Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here, total collapse of society. That is a tail risk. That is a tail risk. The tail risk obviously is something when you're looking at a bell curve, you have the things that are most likely to happen in the middle here and you have the tail risk here. What's the worst case scenario? Or what's the best case scenario? The best case scenario is that nothing in society changes and we just go back to incredible times, living high like the 90s and everyone's flush with, ca with cash, right? That's over here. Over here, total collapse of society. That, I believe, is what more what we're headed to. We're probably somewhere over here right now. What in the world is going on? That is what we have to prepare for. School didn't teach you to think critically. It's there to help you memorize things and to, to go get a safe, secure job that you're one step away from getting fired from. That's what school is there to teach you. Critical thinking, that's what real life's all about. What are we, what are we doing right now? A third of renters didn't pay their mortgage this past month. Are you kidding me? A third of people didn't pay their, their, their rental check or their mortgage, what have you. That's insanity. If you don't think things are coming our direction, you got another thing coming. I think 2021 is going to be the chickens are going to come home to roost, if not 22 at the very latest. I mean, this is, this is absolutely absurd what's going on right now. And the fact that the media and the different people around us in our lives aren't giving the facts and the truth is criminal, absolutely criminal. It's up to us to do our homework, though. That being said, that pisses me off. I'm pissed off. But... It's up to us to do our homework. It's up to each one of us to do our own homework. It's not up to someone else to tell us what's going on. We have to do our own homework. We have to figure out what's going on in our world so that way we can do things better. Just looking at some of the things that are going on right now, like I said, a third of renters didn't pay their rent or mortgage this past month. Fed buying junk and blue chip bonds. Are you, are you serious right now? Junk and blue chip. Uh, those are diametrically opposed. So what's going on there? Can anyone explain what's going on there? Are they buying junk? just complete garbage the the blades of grass here are they buying that that way they can mask oh we're buying both both ends of the spectrum well they're buying incredible companies to sit on their balance sheet because they're making profit off of it because it's a private organization so there's shareholders making tons of money there yet we most people think it's a federal organization they are making tons of money off of the blue chip, comp all blue chip companies sitting on their balance sheet and oh we're going to offset it with junk look we're good guys we're doing both we're gonna buy junk and blue chip. I mean, this is absolutely absurd what's going on. Again, another criminal activity going on there. The Fed, just in general, another criminal activity in in and of itself, its own existence. But again, that's a story for a different day. Imagine if dollars, oh, sorry. And then collapse of purchasing power to throw another one in here. This, These are some of those things that you have to really truly look at and critically think and think, you know, I just had an example today of uh, an investor I was meeting with, awesome guy, and he was talking about a property he was purchasing from a guy who bought it 23 years ago and the guy thought he was making 20 30 grand yet we've lost 44 percent of our purchasing power the dollars lost 44 percent of his value since only the year 2000 i mean that think about that for a second so this guy should have sold his place correctly had he he would have made money made currency however he thought he sold at a 30,000 you know he bought it say for uh two or um Bought it for 175 and sold it for 205. Well, should have sold it for 295. That would have been the true inflation adjusted value. He actually sold for an $80,000 loss. 85, whatever, 85, $80,000 loss. That is what's actually happening. When you can't see, when you can't read between the lines and critically think, you lose big time in life. And that's the purpose of the Freedom Isn't Free show. That's what we have going on. Obviously, the show, the interview, the people we're interviewing um, in every walk of life. It's about freedom. It's about freedom in every area of life and the things you need to prepare for to give yourself freedom. Being detached from the government and not needing that handout, hand up, whatever it may be. Detaching yourself, removing yourself from the matrix and understanding what's going on in your life. I mean, people wanna talk about money and currency and this and that and the root of all evil and blah, 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 blah. Guess what? It affects every single aspect of your life. Voting who you vote for. Oh, we're gonna vote for this cute lady that comes in office or we're gonna vote for that handsome looking dude. Well, guess what? That handsome looking dude and that cute lady are destroying what you have built your entire life or could be destroying your, your entire life. That, I think, is something worth talking about and something worth paying attention to. These kind of things, being able to read between the lines and critically think, I mean, this is insane. It's like, you know, it, it just, it pisses me off 
four people. I mean, I, it's, I, I'm, I'm beyond the point of being pissed off myself 10 years ago. So now it's just the point of it's, it's just hurting so many other people that we, we have to start waking up. So these things are huge. Again, this is the thing. Imagine if dollars were beanie babies. This is an example that people, I think, really need to, again, another thing to start talking about. These things aren't sexy. They aren't fun. But dollars, money, your wealth, you, you know, grinding away eight hours, 10, 12 hours a day for years and years on end, hoping you get a great retirement. I met with another uh, seller today and talking about all the things even he's having to pay for and dole out now. And he's like, I thought I did the right thing for decades and decades being an engineer. I thought I was doing the right thing and planning appropriately. And now I'm having to dole money out here and dole money out there to all these other people who didn't plan properly and didn't do the right things. Who's to say, right? What's fair, what's not? I mean, that's, that's an insanity, right? If you structure things and figure out what's going on, critically think you can plan appropriately. You can protect yourself from these things. Imagine dollars are beanie babies. This is something that's huge. People are holding dollars in the bank. I mean, there's like $20 trillion held in banks. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, you're holding an asset that's not making you any money. Um, or it's not an asset anymore. It's really a liability because you're losing the real inflation rate is, or the real rates are your interest rate you're making minus, so it's your in interest minus inflation rate equals your real rate. So if your interest rate is 0.003% and you're making three cents a month, but inflation's at 2%, which I mean, they're printing, we've just doubled our, our printing in the last couple of months. We know inflation is probably around two or three minimum. It's probably up at four or five, six percent. You're losing five percent, right? We just talked about dollar lost forty four percent since two thousand. These are just things, like I said, I, I want to bring these things up to spark interest, hopefully in one person, to say, you know, yeah, what is going on? I'm actually losing money. I'm losing wealth every single month right now. The real rates are actually losing money, and then eventually it's probably going to go negative interest rates. So then hopefully it will wake a lot of people up. But if dollars were beanie babies. Back in the day, Beanie Babies, super popular, right? 20 years ago. And you had the tie-dye bear and the dinosaurs and all these different Beanie Babies. They were super rare because they stopped making them and they were super rare, right? So the price went up. Well, if you have a bunch of dollars and holding a bunch of dollars, they keep printing them. What happens? The value of them goes down, right? If you're holding the tie-dye bear and uh, I'm trying to think of his name, Gar or Garcia. If you're, trying, if you're holding the tie-dye bear, I think it's Garcia. Um, if someone knows, let me know, because I, th I think it is. But anyway, if you're holding the dinosaurs or the, the, the tie-dye bear, and they just keep making them all of a sudden, they, they say you're holding them, you're like, oh, this is great, it's worth a couple hundred dollars, and then all of a sudden they start producing them again? Well, now what happens? Now you're, the value starts going down, right? If everyone had a Babe Ruth signed rookie card, and you had the only one in existence, well, probably pretty darn valuable, right? Well, what happens if they just start making a million of them? And then a bunch of people start, uh, you know, all of a sudden, oh, I've got this signed, or I guess he's gone now, but take, you know, someone else who's alive. And all of a sudden they're print, they just start printing a bunch of more and making more and then getting those signed. Now what happens to the value of the one that you had, the only one in existence before, what happens? That value starts going down. That's exactly what's happening with the dollars that you hold. We're printing at such a massive, massive rate that we're just destroying the value of the dollar. So what happens? Total collapse, eventually, total collapse. We've had a new monetary system on average every 20 to 40 years. It's coming, we're at year like 40, 45 right now. So it's coming, how do you prepare? What do you do? And we're in an insurance buying time, right? We've, we've again, propped the bubble up a little bit, we've propped it up again. Preparing food supplies, this is the thing that's, this thing right here has me the most worried. This is the thing for months and months now. Um, we're gonna try to have someone on the Freedom Isn't Free show soon trying to get her on who knows a ton about supply lines and she is predicting big problems in the fall coming up here with supply chain, food shortages, stuff like that. I've been worried about this forever. F so getting freeze dried food storage, getting uh, canned food, stuff like that while you can, prepare while you can, prepare your money, your currencies, your financials. That is what we just talked about obviously here a bit. Preparing those things, that's going to be absolutely massive. Getting hedges in place, whether it's cryptos and golds and silver and real estate producing cash flow, um, something that can hedge and hopefully go up in times of crisis and prepare your education, the most important thing. Like I said, this is the time to learn to critically think, think in terms of these crisis hedges and reading between the lines, understanding money and currencies, monetary policy, fiscal policy, how they affect us in our life. 
because putting your head in the sand is not an answer. That is not an answer anymore. We've done that now for 50, 60, 70, 80 years, and I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of hearing, oh, I just don't want to think about it. Oh, it's just too much to understand. Well, guess what? We're in the spot now because too many of us have been putting our heads in the flipping sand. There's no more time to be putting our heads in the sand and not understanding what's going on because we're going to hell in a handbasket if we haven't noticed yet. With your freedoms, you know, one by one, every single day, your freedoms, your purchasing power, everything is slowly being ripped away from you. Whether you like it or not, it's being ripped away out of your, your arms. Every single day of our life, 44% of your purchasing power gone in the last 20 years. Think about that. That is incredible. Let's start getting prepared. Start critically thinking. My guarantee is that I'm going to continue to study my butt off and keep educating myself, keep putting myself out there, purchasing things, investing in things, getting the experience, education. That way I can come and report back to you also. That way I can do my job and do what I need to do and help inform as many people as I can because that's something I feel called to do. So I'd love to know how you're preparing and what you're doing. And if you're mad, if you're not. If you're just like, you know what? I don't care, Brandon. It is what it is. We've had a great ride. America's had a great ride. It's been 230 great years. Hey, it is what it is. It's a great run. Let me know. I'd be curious. Maybe we'll have it in the show. I love to uh, debate someone who just doesn't see the, the point in having personal freedom and individual freedom. So that'd be fun too. So I hope you are preparing. I hope you're doing something one way or another. Remember, some action, any action is better than inaction. So I appreciate you guys. Your time is the most important asset we have. So I appreciate you joining us here. Please, but please let me know what you are doing to prepare or not prepare. We'll talk to you guys soon.